Okay, folks, today we're going to be talking about is DP900 worth it? Is it worth your time, money, effort, sacrifice into learning DP900? And the quick and short answer is yes, it's worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. Trust me. And I'll tell you why. When you gain education into like where databases are used, held, functioned, and it's a tool, you come to understand it's really important and significant for business to not only look after the data and back it up for application sakes, is how to use the data to understand your business trends, peaks, profit lines, all these sort of things is really important. And if you understand how to use the data in, in databases for charts, reports, graphs, you know, prediction, prescription, all these fundamental things, trust me, you're adding significant value to the business of where you work. And they would probably, you know, pay you in kind. And I, I've looked for some jobs in Azure Data after I've passed the exam, just to see like, you know, what jobs I can probably get at what timeline. And it looks really, really good. Okay, everything is not about money, get that. But if we want to know or benchmark ourselves against, you know, not knowing data to then knowing data, how much is that actually going to be worth in terms of how much money I get as a salary? Or if you're a contractor as a day rate, you need to know, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, yeah, sure, you can work in a fantastic company, but if love got the job done, you know, we wouldn't have to worry about mortgages. It's in, in, in reality, we want to know. So DP900, worth it. If you work in e-commerce, you know, they want to know like how data is, is working and stuff like that or how to work the data. If you work for financial firm, anything of the sort, anything that holds data, even spreadsheets, you need to know that's a form of data. You should know how to get the best of that content. DP900 is worth it. And the, the way how the world's going as well, when it comes to what we call it now, uh, machine learning, um, IoT, if you want to know, you know, big data, all these sort of things, artificial intelligence, data is the fundamentals, not the foundation of it. Okay. So let's just, let's just basically see. Here's, here's the course material. As I keep repeating in the other videos, you know, you just type in DP900 and you into any search engine and you see the Microsoft link, you come here and you select it. 69 pounds in the United Kingdom. If you go to United States, it's 99 US dollars. The asterisk just represents that's without VAT or taxes, you know? So I think for 99, it's probably 120 US dollars. Could be wrong, but you know, just add some sort of 20%. Again, I paid 82 pounds, so that's the 20% on the 69. It's not the the most expensive one, but is it worth it? Yeah, I will pay for it. I will learn this skill for sure. You know, for sure, it's really, really good to know. So the learning certificate I've got, I've acquired mine on the 19th of April this week. Yeah. So it's only the 22nd. So I've achieved my, my score wasn't brilliant. I got 710, but you know, I only studied for like a month and a bit. So go figure, but I received the qualification, stoke. Um, I've gone to job serve. Let's talk about, you know, the jobs and everything of the sort that you can act when you receive a certificate or the understanding of it. Okay, sure. Some of the things that when you talk about in the interview they want to know how long you've been doing data for but it does back yourself up when you do the dp900 okay so is there data integration engineer i just going to look at the topics and see so is there larger apps yes it's covered in the course data factory covering the course power bi covering the course um, DevOps technologies not covering the course too much but it does talk about the pipelines within um, some of the database technologies that, that Azure has. Script in a PowerShell, okay, you need to learn on the side. MySQL SQL Server 
culture fit. Yes. So DP900 will cover all these things here for you. Not in depth, but a good way for you to test. Now, I'm not saying by doing the course and passing within two months, you'll be able to do all this work here. What I'm just basically saying is, is that you can have confidence in knowing these topics and practicing in your lab or you know, if you have a division in your, in your, in the current place that you work, if they have a means of, you know, transitioning away from where you are now into databases, well, hell, you know, and I probably give yourself probably about a year's, a year's experience, you know, depending on how quick you learn something, you could grab a job like this. So let me see, this is 450 to 500 per day plus remote working. So that's pretty good. It's a two months contract. Yeah, that's all right. We'll be able to smash that easily. Let's see something a little bit more juicy, shall we? Azure Data Engineer. Okay, Architect Solutions, Architect Solutions on Azure, CICD Pipelines, Design. Well, hold on for a second. Okay, you'll be working with this. Doesn't mean that you necessarily need to have those, but ability to code in Python, strong SQL skill set. Don't they just ask for everything underneath the sun? You know, they do really. See, I will still apply for this job, but I will still be asking in the interview what, because at the end of the day, this is a wish list as to what it is that they're looking for. However, um, if you ask in the interview, what, what are the key skills that you require for your candidate? If they say, look, we want you to know databases, then you're in, you know, easily 80 to 100 grand. They just want to see if you got everything else so they could justify giving you the higher tier. But yeah, you can land that. And this is the last one that I'll be looking for, looking at, which is, you know, almost double the lower end contract. So Azure Data Architect, um, what are they looking for? You also need to proficient set up Azure infrastructure with expert ADF, ADLS. Uh, so what's that? Uh, Synapse Databricks and Power BI. Azure database fundamentals. I don't know what that is. I could quickly Google that. You Google it, see what it means. I don't think it's anything to worry about. But note this rule will be inside R35. That's okay for 650, 750. You know, for how long? Six months? That's that's a juicy amount of, of money if you want it. So yeah, is Azure data worth taking the the beginning of your journey? I would say yes. Not necessary for the money, but because you can add value to a business and you're adding value to yourself. And more importantly, you know, you're going to be adding value to your family from achieving the certificate, because it looks to me that if you were to achieve this, you will probably be in a very good high paying job if that floats your boat or very interesting work. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what I'm saying these days and everything of the sort, please like and subscribe to my channel. I want to grow up as much as possible so I can help people achieve, you know, working in the cloud field, specializing in Azure for the beginning. Probably we, we make a transition to AWS or Google Cloud in the future. But other than that, yeah, crack on, man. Let's see what we got.